are you motivated to play World of Warcraft? That's the question. Uh, Talia, uh, Talia S. and Avatel today posted a video called Was 10.1 a Flop? Why Players Went Cool on the Embers of Naltharian. That's it. The Embers cooled down. Uh, it's the Embers, yeah. It's not the fires in Naltharian. It's the Embers. Click. Yeah, well, I guess I think of Embers. What's that? It's like, yeah, it's um, it's half one at night. We sat in the living, you know, we sat in the fire, the room of the fireplace like three hours ago. Now we're all going to bed and I've just been like, oh yeah, I suppose they're, they're only embers. It's fine. Well, the house won't burn down. Yeah. Then you go to sleep. Then you wonder why the house didn't burn down. That's the patch. Mm -hmm. But actually we want a patch that burns the house down, funny enough. Exactly. Yeah. So to kind of go through this a little bit, like it's a 40 minute video. It's they're actually trying something new where they're going to like stream on YouTube and have a little two camera setup and talk like they have done in some videos before. And it was actually pretty good. They were like basically clearly like loosely just chatting, very little plan, just blabbering away. It was it was enjoyable enough. But it was it was an exploration of like why do people maybe not play Ten One as much? But it came from the perspective of like them two not yes. logging in as much as usual. They're logging in a lot less than usual. Ty Asin immediately talks about wanting to have to do things because without any push to have to do things, neither of them are really logging in. And that's one of the things that's kind of interesting, which is, oh, okay, so you're kind of not doing the the end of the ever. Yeah. Well, it there's like, down. yeah, it's like, I don't want to have to do things, so they're not logging in. I, and it boils down to the motivation to play isn't there for them. Yeah. And then that was like the top of that for like about 40 minutes here or there. And ultimately it boils down to like, there's a quote from Tally Essen, I feel like I do need someone to go, have you done your fizzle whistle par? He, earlier on suggests fizzle whistle par for a new artifact par very good you haven't done your fizzle whistle par or you get into your fizzle whistle par i'm not happy about it i'll moan about it online but i'll do it and then i'll get in there and be like and then list off all the activities you do for like your, your fizzle whistle par yeah so it's just being yeah. like put your hoof on my throat it'll be sore i might complain about it afterwards yeah. but i want it it's a little bit just you know i don't want to play this game unless Sorry, there is dude. a big brain reward no, at the end for being kicked in the ass to you know it, it, i think he calls it specifically like a carrot to go and i think yeah, so here I, even mm. to like do a quick example of this the current game i'm playing dave the diver yeah like it works because i want to get bigger fish you know you yeah. have fish power that's what gold is in that game but i i, I think it's like Okay, I understand the desire for that, the want for that. Mm -hmm. I think that it is perhaps a, you know, it's a big sledgehammer solution to that problem. Yes I think, and no. Okay, fair. Actually, I, I, I could see how what I was about to say also could be seen as but another form of sledgehammer. Um, I suppose you could say what you want by default is for gear to be gear, gear to be simple, gear is gear, no bullshit, no casino gameplay. But perhaps also you want some form of like within, because this is the thing with borrowed power. Uh, for the most part, when we were talking about borrowed power, it was like, you know, you, you end up being this crazy god at the end of the expansion. And uh, Please fall, let's go. you know, it, it just going like way too much and getting out of hand. Fuck, I love and, and the time where it was the worst was, uh, you know, it was Legion 7-3. Yeah, it was 7-3 to 8 -oh. It was never as bad as that again. No. Um, I think that the odd thing, like the Onyx Annulet or whatever, is, is like, fine. I'm fine for Blizzard to say, if we're using the, the Fizzle Whizzle power for, for Tally, give give me my fucking Fizzle Dick, whatever it is, some item. And you're like, this is your big thing, whatever. And, uh, you know, maybe maybe it's like a... I was about to say Legendary Diablo. Does that make sense? No. Um, but, you know, it's... The thing of this patch, the little mini artifact weapon of this patch, where you know, just level it up, have some fun with it. You know, it does different things, uh, right? I guess I'm almost thinking about like a seasonal twist as if I was an action RPG player, which is really never the sort of thing I thought I'd ever say about World of Warcraft. And that is really quite alarming. Hmm. Yeah, but then you... I suppose that the reason why I'm saying this is you want like your fizzle whistle power, but you maybe don't want expansion spanning fizzle whistle power that feels like you know you've got to have an artifact knowledge like catch-up system or yeah. any of that weird stuff because it's like because like anima was that the only difference is it you know didn't need catch-up and it didn't apply uh, you know didn't really do anything to player power yeah 
Absolutely. And Anima yeah. wasn't that like it didn't really drive people to do stuff. Yeah, because I, I the, because, the the, because the rewards weren't immediately clear and immediately understandable where when you pick is, it up. Where is the intrinsic motivation, man? The intrinsic motivation is thing. fucking gone. Intrinsic motivation for World of Warcraft players doesn't exist and hasn't existed on average for many, 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 yeah, many years. And, and this is the thing. That's the problem. It's fascinating because whenever we think about the good old days, that is almost just like a proxy for saying back when I had intrinsic motivation for the game. Except you also didn't have intrinsic motivation in the same way because you were always extrinsically motivated. Because what happened? What, what, uh, okay. You level up. Yeah. Yeah. You go back in time and you're playing World of Warcraft and the vast majority of your playtime was leveling up. You were always chasing some new little card. And they have they reached the point where you're in the end game loop and they're trying to reduce the amount of time you have to play and they're trying to reduce the amount of barriers to your play. And because that's all fundamentally controlled in this single thing, they're like, okay, well, what cards can we give you that aren't too far away or that don't feel like sticks because of where they are and how you need them? Because the annulet... Getting the annulet for me on my main felt okay. Getting my annulet on a character a little bit deeper into the patch felt like a fucking nightmare. Do you know what because this it feels because like? it wasn't a reward for stuff I wanted to do and felt right to do. It was me having to go out of my way to do something I didn't want to do. It was a barrier to my gameplay. Whereas it wasn't at the beginning, which yeah. is an interesting thing. I, I think there's another factor. Yeah. And I only have one like analogy for this that comes to, that comes to mind, and it's like kind of annoying, um, yeah. but that's fine because we're all adults, right? It's a phenomenon that can happen to individuals where they perhaps uh, basically just use a big fucking hunk, and you know those Hitachi vibrator things. They use that to the point where their junk doesn't work anymore. They're like, it's too overstimulated. It won't happen. That is essentially what WoW has done with a bunch of its rewards. WoW it has, has been going like, people. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. They're like, fuck, we need to get the more bouts. Oh, our glitz exploding from us still trying to give bouts. It's not working. Pets, a thousand pets, 500 pets. Quickly, give them cloaks. <laughs> and, and, visitor, and people are just like, my entire body is desensitized to this process. Help! It doesn't work. I don't feel anything anymore. I'm a Coomer Zoomer now. Uh. There you go. Sorry for the bad analogy, but you know what I mean. It's like, it's like you've given, you have actually given me so many salty fries that I don't like them anymore. It's like whenever I was like, man, chips. Fuck! I die for a gravy chip. Then I worked in a chip shop, and within three weeks, I'm just like, I don't want to see a fucking chip again. The idea of salt and vinegar chips is now demotiv- Sorry, uh, no, it is chips, yes. Is now demotivating to me for the Americans. Uh, chunky fries. Yeah, so- It's just it's too much word. Yeah. So now it's like, well, you know, in, in, in this case with Taliesin, it's like, you know, what is Fizzle Whizzle power? I, I'm glad he said Fizzle Whizzle because now it's just, I need you to install electrodes all over my body so I can be stimulated again. I want to feel something, please God. Which I think is like the nuclear option of going like, you know, turbo artifact power and everything again. It's like, yeah, we can't feel anything anymore. I remember when the Netherwing Drake was a really cool reward. Now it's just like, mounts, here's a million. And soon they're going to have the 5,000 mount reward. And and the, the mount is, is, is even more crazy because now we've got the, 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 the fucking monthly shit, the trading post. The trading post is just like, ah. And you, here's you, all of our leftover cosmetics. And you already see that and how the trading post July and August is. We've got more stuff for you. There's more. so much. Yeah. We'll give you 20 months. How many months until you love us? Is what it basically feels like. It's really brutal. They <laughs> they have a problem. And this is, you notice this when you look at the... <laughs> get the Wohead article, articles written up. <laughs> Whoa, broke my brain. It's very good. No. Uh, it broke your brain, brain. It's in the sense that they're like they've not been able to reward people because people have been playing this forever there's no juicy good good feel that's the problem there's no juicy good good feel and the only way people can be motivated is extrinsically now because that's what video games have done and i'm not going to get too deep into that because i'll be here all day 
But intrinsic motivation in World of Warcraft has been a very small part of it. Five hours saved. Yeah, the you might give me enough time to chase my uh, <laughs> extrinsic motivation so I finish my adventure journal this month. Yes, exactly. Where I did the same thing. I logged in. I did a world quest to finish my thing. I don't give a fuck about quacks, the fucking mount. But I got 150 extra trading tenders. And oh, yo, quacks is kind of sick. No, it's not. I don't give a fuck about mounts. I'm a druid. I travel for them. Mounts never matter to me. They did for a bit when I was a paladin, and then I got my legion mount and went. I'm done. I'm finished. Because mounts as a number doesn't fucking motivate me whatsoever. So I did that for the hundred tenders because I might be able to get something cool. Because it was a means to end. Because I like those weapons. Because yeah. I like I like having the opportunity if I'm going to like level an ult, I like to go. I'm going to have a nice transmog for this. And that's like that's the 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 extrinsic to the intrinsic. But for a lot of people, it's become a chase in and of itself. Where it's just why am I doing this for the number? What's the number mean? <laughs> I don't know. Constitute my yeah. juice. It doesn't I, work. I. <laughs> The abstraction for mount number equals dopamine and happiness is fucking broken. There's like only for two players like. left. It's just Annie Fuchsia versus Asmongold. Yeah. And all the things. That's it. Yeah, basically we're like the all the things vacation of World of Warcraft is completely fucking wrecked it in a very interesting way. RNG traders tender boxes incoming. Probably, I mean, yeah. That would work. Honestly, that would work probably fine. That oh, would, no. that, that's fucking brilliant. Holy shit. You're a genius. Fucking well done. Uh, I raise an empty can of spartamine. Woo! Yeah. To you. Yeah, that's actually genuinely fantastic. Brilliant. But, like, fundamentally, it boils down to what I have here, which Page is the. Paid loot boxes. Yeah, the, pe got their yeah, the people yearn for island expeditions. That's the, that's the ultimate thing to come to here because uh, they say. I don't want to be here anymore. anymore. Yeah, was THD right all along? And now this is the thing where. Do, 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 yeah. do. THD has always had a point. Oh, yeah, has always had a point. This isn't, like, something new. This is what was coming to an eventual thing. And I think if you went back and, like, watched clips or streams from, like, me talking about intrinsic versus extrinsic, well, it is removing extrinsic motivation is fucking dangerous. Because that's, that's why people play your game. And if you're in the maze and suddenly the fucking walls fall down, you'll stand there and go, where do I go? Ah! And rightly so, <laughs> because that's how it works. Like, oh, well, I'm going to get that frame yeah. for the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, that's why I can't handle it. So you go, what, 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 what do you do? Like, what, what do you do when you're free? You do what you want to do, but you don't. But you don't know. Yeah, you don't know what you want to do because you're sat there going, but my motivation's gone because you're it's motivated like the end of the by South the Park wrong episode. thing. It is. It's yeah, like, we've killed it. We've killed the evil. What do we do now? We play the game. Yeah, it's it's kind of exactly that. Where, like. That's why I have no illusions about not wanting to play World of Warcraft when I don't want to. Yeah. I'm just like, oh yeah, there's nothing for me to... Like, sometimes I'll do a grind if I kind of enjoy it. Like, I was thinking about doing the Winter Pelt grind there. Ultimately didn't. During the 50% rep thing, because I have other games that are more... Like, I want to play them more. So, like, maybe I'll go back and do that at another point where I'm like, okay, well, what's the reward? The reward for that is, obviously, there's you know, the grindy, grindy bit, but the reward is quests, which I will intrinsically enjoy because I really like world, like, WoW quest stuff now. But generally, like, they need to find a way to bring extrinsic motivation in in a safer way that's mm. different. And I feel like you're going to have to introduce some form of, like, honor leveling, but for actual leveling. Yes, you're gonna, yes, you're gonna, yes. You're going to need Paragon levels that doesn't have player power. Think about just give you, you Overwatch. Need, I was just about to say, you, brand. you want the Overwatch leveled up, ding, ding, get a wee... Get a wee something. Ooh. The problem is once that box Kill stops moving. Mm. Just a, like a little side thing. You f you fucking move three meters to the left and Guild Wars 2 just goes, Oh, it's a box of shit. And you're like, ah, I have a black lion. No, it's not the black lion box. That's the stuff you buy the keys for. But like, yeah, it's like you do a thing in Guild Wars. You, there'll just be boxes of resources being thrown at you. You, yeah. do, you do achievements. They even have like dailies and shit in the form of a, like achievements and stuff. I don't even know how it works. But like, mm -hmm. yeah, it, it does a whole bunch of that. Yeah, so there's definitely something where they have to grapple us in the long term. And this is going to be the effect of, and this is very, this is very, I'm not going to say what I'm thinking, but it's very worse before it gets better, in a way, where people reevaluate, why am I not playing this video game as much? And then you go, well, because I don't feel motivated to. And then you have to answer, why were you playing it in the first place? And that's why I really commend Blizzard for having the bravery to make the changes they made. Because I'd be fucking terrified that it's, mm. and I've been I've been parading them as the right things to do, because they genuinely are if they want a better game, because 
this is moving away from closer to dark patterns, closer to mobile game things, which would make for happier players, which is a longer term brand, which is happier, big, good, good forever, basically. If but you if you want to make a lot The of, content can't be made. That's the other part where you have like intrinsic motivation comes from really having fun. And that's why, like here's here's a perfect good example. I have to be fair, FF16 kind of came along and fucking devoured my time. But like I did the FF14, the pandemic the last four pandemonium raids a while ago, and I was like, those are those are really good. And I haven't gotten any gear because I was a fucking moron. And I rolled on three of the chest pieces. I thought I might as well get my chest this week. Rolled on three chest pieces, then short circuited and rolled on legs and won those. Went fuck, I guess I'm no gear this week. And like I could go like I could log in and do those again. And then I'd be able to get chest piece and leg piece and the set's fucking gorgeous always every set is beautiful but i'm just like i've seen them and i kind of would rather play another game right now so the extrinsic motivation in that like doesn't work it, it, the, extra, yeah. the extrinsic motivation in ff has never worked for me yeah. because it's i played i play that game because i love the experience of it but here's, here's an example and that's how i play world of warcraft now as well where i'm like i log in because i want the short term extrinsic loop towards an, a goal but the problem is for a lot of people the extrinsic no longer needs a goal it's just for the sake of it would in you word enjoy word. say the new immortal achievement in the mega dungeon so i'm going to say no but for one particular reason mm. and that is i have never really liked doing optional achievements because i've never had a great experience with them historically Literally, like, bad times in TBC and Wrath have just made me never want to do those. Oh, okay. Because it's like I would either have morons I'm playing with or, like, pugs or stuff like that where they've always been more, like, annoying where they're... More annoying where they're than they're worth. If I could get a group of, like, a couple of the best guildies, I would, like, if... Basically, if someone said, we're doing this, do you want to come in? I'd be like, fucking right, let's go. But I wouldn't go ahead and wait to do it. I would definitely enjoy the process. Okay. That specifically has a weird asterisk in my brain of. So with, that's without the asterisk, is that getting more to a yes? Yes, okay. because that's a novel experience that yeah. is going to be a little more challenging. I like the novelty and I like the challenge. I'm a novelty driven person in that sense, where I do something because it's interesting. But fundamentally, it boils down to like extrinsic isn't a bad thing as long as it's mostly intrinsic. It's the same way, like you're playing so it's reinforcement mm. versus overtaking. Exactly. That's that's exactly yeah. it. You want to be playing a game because you like it, and also have a little, wee 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 fun oh. fun level up level up level up level up. You don't want to level up for the sake of the number group, and this is where you look at like AFK Arena, and then when the brain oh. goes, "What the fuck?" and it goes, "You want to level up, don't you?" It's like, yeah, but it has no meaning. The extrinsic stuff has to have a meaning, in order to be long term. And World of Warcraft's kind of lost that. It does anything that's extrinsic doesn't have a meaning to it anymore. Anything that's like, hey, here's get your gear. That has meaning, and that's easy. But bis outside of very rare items, bis is almost too easy to get for some people. So it's like that kind of thing. And you go, well, okay, well, what was the chase for a lot of like M plus players? It was getting that bis. It was consistently getting the up up happy happy of gearing. Whereas I'm sure they would have argued that they actually really love doing M+. And the answer is they don't love doing M+. They love doing M+, up until the point. And it's the same with me with, say, character action games. I fucking love playing character action games. I love them to pieces. But I'm not the kind of person who will replay Bayonetta like eight times. I think we've done like twice or three times. I was like, I really like it, but I also kind of... The thing that also like applies the meaning is the experience of the first time. It's like, I'm not going to do it for its own sake, but I love doing it. Yeah. And I think that's where World of Warcraft is at the... It's leaning a little bit heavily on the you love doing this for its own sake or you love doing it for the, say, an M+, plus for the the top whatever percent achievement. It's like you need... You do need an actual long tail chase. You just don't need it to be so powerful and so required that you need to do it. You do, however, need it to be there. And that's the part they're kind of wrestling with where they're struggling with rewarding people because what's the reward for loads of renowns? The colored scales for dragon Run, very good that's probably the only one that like yeah I think people would give a shit about they're the only ones i'd give a shit about same outside of it's like uh, the, the, ti the titles i'm vaguely interested in, but it clearly hasn't worked enough for me to do that work the like the you know like it feels to me like 
Okay, so imagine you have a big bowl of popcorn. It's a food mm -hmm. analogy. And then imagine you have some, like, you know, high fucking class, you know, uh, truffles. Mm -hmm. Designer artesian truffles. Sorry, I don't actually pronounce it that way. Uh, you need... So your, your mount, your scale colors, that's the, like you know, artisan truffle that you're like, oh my God, I'm going to savor every moment. Mm, yum, yum, yum. The other stuff, that has got to be you fucking shovel hands into that big bowl of popcorn, right? Mm. So all like, you know, the little horn customizations and stuff, that has just got to be absolutely, um, you know, like, uh, you know, those like uh, big, uh, you know, big cool guns, like a, you know, on like a plane and they go... Bleh. Like a, a warthog gun, yes. you know. The, no, not not on the warthog. I mean, the, the guns in the A10. I forget the name of them, mm -hmm. um, right? You know, that's what you you actually want to be riddled full of scale variations and horns and different dragon eyebrows, because uh, that stuff like doesn't. It's not enough to get you to the next. You know, it's like oh, what I get three things for my next renown reward. I think another thing as well that's a bit weird is, it's like renown reward, and, and this is a challenging thing. It's renown reward and then collect a bunch of items mm. and then go back to the vendor. I have a feeling that for a bunch of people, they're like, oh, okay, right. So I've got to get seven of these, three bear arses, five shark mouths, this, 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 that, blah, blah, blah. No. That, yeah, that's a really good point. And because... that, that's interesting. Yeah. Because that's actually adding more of a story to each one of those things. Mm -hmm. But then to a player, they're like, I did the renown to get the thing, and now I've got, oh, now I've got to go and do it. And yeah. to them, it's just like, oh, it's more trudgery instead of, you know, renown, bag of shit, I'm happy. Which yeah. I, I feel like in the modern Bing Bing Wahoo uh, state of gaming is, is probably what works a bit better. You do need a little bit of the Bing Bing Wahoo in control capacities to keep people going. because Sugar it is to make the medicine go down. Effectively, but to me, what you said there about that is really interesting. Because I want to, or rather, I I have basically never bought anything that I didn't just pick on the first try, even though it's all there. And what that says to me is, I literally don't care enough to fly two feet to the Oxnard, especially when it's like from the dude in Valdraken. Same, yeah. It's like, I clearly don't care about those at all. Which is like, interesting. Why is that? It's kind of because I've picked a dragon that I like, because all the op op options look good. Some of it's like the same thing of when you're transmog, you're like, I've got a good transmog, I'm done now. I'm complete. I have no further goals, thank you. So why should I play your game if I don't have any further goals? And that's where I think like World Quest being really fucking boring, even though they're, they're improving now. I actually, I, I do not more than Legion. I have a much better time doing World Quest now when I, when I need to do them for some reason. I actually enjoy them a lot more. I no longer want to fucking throw my PC out the window like I did in Shadowlands or on BFA. Oh, yeah. BFA wasn't too bad, mostly because I did most of them later when I could fucking nuke them into the Oblivion. With, like, just walk up and use a Heart of Azeroth ability and it's game over. So, but, like, macro, it is... Macro. Mm. Macro things. It's what you were saying about the account-wide honor level. We need... And I don't know if this is an account-wide thing or something, but, you know, even having, so, like, a system for account-wide rewards, there's a thing in SWOTOR called Legacies. It's the idea that, like, your characters are in some sort of, you know, vague family or some shit. But basically, it just works to have, uh, you know, account-wide rewards mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, sort of shit like that. Um, like, a good example is those PvP rewards for honor. It's like, well, who the fuck cares about grinding up honor now? Whereas back when, you know, back when they had that, and I, I think they still do up to a point, right? Yeah. But the honor grind is so slow. It is so slow for those. It's not It's not rewarding for your time. Like, yeah, it's, it's not rewarding for your time. It's more something you'll accidentally do while you play. Um, so I absolutely feel like they, they need to jazz that up for PvP more. They probably need something like that for, um, you know, for PvE. And perhaps even within the context of a season. Um, you know, I don't yeah. want to talk about, you know, purely just mounts and stuff. Because as we've covered, like, you know, they're not particularly fun. Um... I suppose some sort of PVE. Either you do it as like a PVE track or just something where, you know, it's like Overwatch account wide uh, or the Overwatch account XP or the account level where you just kind of like repeatedly get things as you play. Yeah. Um, because then at least like, 
it's I suppose then it's those additional layers of reinforcement it means like regardless of your you know maybe leveling a character up or doing this or doing that like you're always filling up that bar um it's just the what there mm -hmm. because if that what involves power then things get a lot more tricky if it is to involve power I think it's got to exist more on a per patch basis it's got to be like t quite tightly scoped and bounded, which they have been experimenting with. The likes of the power causal fragments that are coming up, the some mm. of the unique items that are coming up, the Onyx Annulet. Um, you know, maybe something like that, but maybe conceive of it as more of a little like mini artifact weapon. But then the problem is anytime they do that, like they can't make things work on a per class basis. There's only so much interesting stuff they can do. Mm. So it is quite hard overall. Yeah, there's something there. I think it's escaped me, but it was sort of... I don't really know how to put it. I think it's ultimately just that they need to be very careful and measure this effectively with what they do, because clearly people don't feel rewarded, but you have to reward people in ways that it's actually interesting and speak to a wider fantasy. Mm. And that's where I imagine they may, they may need to do... Like... Here's an example. Artifact weapons. Except. Except. They are... Basically... You know the way the... Like, the, there were the two stages of the artifact weapons, appearance-wise, where after you did the... All the quests for mm. your class, you got the better version? You basically just need a load of those. You need a load of... FF14's artifact weapons. <laughs> more or less i think that would be one of the better moves they could do whereas something you have to work towards to upgrade i think people need more chase things that are special feeling not special unique but special fucking good fucking the game convinces you they're worth your time doing i like long haul grinds stuff like that i think because like the trading post is fine but the trading post fell into and this is annoying because again it falls into the more doing content you don't want to for reward you probably don't really want that much where the, like, the trading post is basically free if you play the game. Like, it's just, if you play the game regularly, it's just, it's free. Yeah. Like, even, I had to go out of my way to do one world quest to finish it. I feel like a, a renowned V2. Mm. Yeah. Definitely a renowned V2 is, is what they need. Like, they, yeah. they need to, I think, change up how that renowned experience yeah. feels. I get the idea that they've got there. I think, you know, it's like... So a good idea with Renown is that it's every, like, 2,500 yeah. uh, rep, right? That it is a bit quicker, so, you know, you actually feel like you can go up the Renown levels fairly quickly if you apply some effort to it. Um, I think that bit's good. They need to change up the structure of those rewards, I think, and uh, maybe make those Paragon boxes feel a little bit more, you know, spicy good. Maybe those Paragon boxes can have some sort of, like, token in them. You know, a bit like those FF14, like, gear tokens. Yeah. I, I don't you know, not literally that, but just the idea of, like, you know, you're always deterred. You're getting your sort of random reinforcement with whatever's inside the box, but then that's also backed up by some sort of token that's, uh, you know, that's, like, useful that you can accrue. I don't know. I, I just it's feel the, like... I mean, a, that's, like, Overwatch is just, here's your, here, here's your coins plus also your thing. Like, yeah. here's your thing with your backup in coins. That's, like, the king of random variants. It's just, how do they fit this in in a way that actually feels... Not like it's leaning too heavily in the variants like they have before, like I was pointed out by Miko there with the the mounts being in Paragon boxes. That probably drove a lot of playtime in Legion, but also drove a lot of people to fucking madness. If you're going because to you do kept that, doing that, have it so that the Paragon boxes all drop a token. Yeah, And need that. if you have five tokens, you can get a mount. So it's like, if you happen to get the mount from the box, you're like, oh, sweet. Yeah. His, I will yeah. get to my goal faster. I always knew I was going to get to my goal. It's like, Here, here's, imagine, here's, here's another upgrade. Imagine if every, uh, mm. let's just say there's a 1% chance when you're doing Netherwing that yeah. the eggs that you loot, it's a special golden egg and it gives you like 3000 rep. Mm -hmm. That would be like, oh, okay, cool. This will be faster. I was always going to get to my goal. I now feel a bit more motivated because I'll get there a bit faster. Go on. Yeah, here's, here's an upgrade for that. Oh, so shit. you get... Paragon box. You get a roll for your amount. Very small chance. You get a token. Or two tokens or three tokens. Whatever my tokens. Make sure system work for numbers. Go to the vendor. You can buy the amount you want for X tokens. Say you get... Say your example. You get one token per box. 
you need five boxes. That's quite a lot, like overall. And you can buy the mount for five tokens. Or you can buy a random mount from the selection for three tokens. And now you've got, say you put three or four mounts in that. Now you've got a big solve for just, hey, now you've got a kind of reason to do these re repeatedly and stuff like that. For, you you for or this. me go for the mount that mm. we want. Asm, Gold, and Annie go for the one that's the most efficient because they're trying to fill out all the things. It's like two yeah. player profiles it probably yeah. works for. Exactly. Or even someone who doesn't bother. You get them just enough here and there. You go, bing, ah, it's sorted, sweet, very good. Very good. And there's probably, there's probably a case there where like they should probably have like a generic currency that you can turn into rep tokens where like, why am I not getting... Why, why can I not make my renowns go up by rating? I think as well. But that's a weird thing because you get into limited weekly sources and stuff when it comes to that. You can be like, oh, you want to get your rounds up as fast as possible? Well, you better raid every week. And then that's kind of awkward. But I still feel like there's probably a case of like, there's stuff you should do specifically, like worked for the Obsidian Citadel and work for the Cobalt Assembly where you go do this thing. Same with the Winter Palace. You go, I'm going to go do this thing for this reward. That's fantastic. We also kind of need like, I think a generic, everything you do makes you feel happy. And they That's did the, yeah. some of that with Renown. And I was like, eh. They tried that with Anima, but they kind of botched the implementation, I think. And they did it with Artifact Power. And they did it with Artifact Power again. Sorry, Azerite Power. So well, it was kind of, sometimes it's been the... botched. But the fundamental idea mm -hmm. of you do a thing and you do a thing for a reason always works. It's why Diablo works so well. Because no matter what the fuck you do, you're getting XP. And if you want to grind, you'll go do your Nightmare Dungeons now, because they've been uh, upgraded, to get your your most efficient XP. But if you want to do something else, you'll go do something else. It's that kind of, like, always rewarding thing that seems yeah. to have worked historically for can, Blizzard. It's like, always worked. If it's something that can drop a sacred, yeah, it can probably drop gear, that'll be relevant to you. So nothing yeah. feels overtly bad. Yeah, so it's fundamentally, like, I think they just need to get that, need to add a little bit more of a well-considered reward loop to the game because I think there's so many people who are at the minute falling out because they're losing that extrinsic push just a little bit too sharp, a little bit too hard, which I applaud them for doing. It's just, I think, with with the wisdom of time on our backs, it may be a little bit too sharp because the game has been extrinsically motivating forever. It's just that the... It's maybe the key thing that the, we yeah. under-indexed. Yeah, the reason of... of the reason behind that is quite apparent in hindsight, which is World of Warcraft has always been profoundly extrinsic. You always log in for an extrinsic reason that leads to meaning. Mm. It's just that I think the meaning has largely been lost here. There's like not, there's no, there's no, and this is awkward because you go, well, there's no gameplay. There's no gameplay that is locked behind an extrinsic, like a grind. And that's good. But it's also bad. Yeah. There, there there, are sacrifices for this. It's just something maybe that they are willing to try and willing to like iterate on to fix going forward. Maybe their data will show it's actually fine. And maybe their data will show that the the great wisdom of if your players leave your game happy, they'll come back happy. Instead of been sticking around for too long and being cursed. I think the cursed. thing is they're not. That's the, like we are because like we, thing, you know, yeah. we, we enjoy our novelty. We get curve and then we go. But I think we have to remember there's the people for whom, like, for them the game is hit Renown 25 with low Omniffin. Uh, get, you know, 20 with Omniffin. or 20, yeah. <laughs> get all the transmogs or whatever it is in the mm. current patch. Do all the sniff and seek and get those achievements. Do you, and it's like, I think that's the bit that the most is not working. Another thing that I guess we could pull into this too is um, a, a discussion in and around Mythic Plus people um, yeah. like happening on Twitter recently. It's one of those things where it's just like a little bit of a community just sort of bubbles up for a bit. And, uh, you know, they all kind of like riff in something that it turns out they've all been feeling. It's yeah. just like someone needs to send the first tweet that'll cause the community cascade. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, in this case, it was for Mythic Plus. Um was it maybe uh, Meg who I think this, yeah, this kicked is it. it off and you know going through like plenty of people there like you know PvP or sorry uh, Mythic Plus streamers and that sort of thing and yeah people just being like dungeons don't feel good not enough tuning don't feel motivated yeah what, what could be going on there there's some aspects of probably what they're saying yeah it might be to do with dungeon tuning yeah I think it's <laughs> a few like other things healing is very hard compared to usual. That's one thing at the higher keys. People may be feeling they. It's that thing. 
where any tiny change in normal levels is just so magnified by yeah. how numbers scale. <laughs> right? Where it's like, you know, they, some things start off as like a 10% difference by the time you've scaled that. It's yep. now a humongous gulf. Where it's like, yeah, so to me, you know, in the like, I don't know, 2 through to 14, 15 range, it was fine. But mm -hmm. then I guess as soon as you start hitting like 20 and beyond, it's like horrible. Yeah, it's exactly that, where I think it's just, it falls apart at higher, higher things a little bit more than usual. Now, there are other replies that aren't here that are saying, I think it was JLBs, like, I love this more than ever before, because that's clearly someone who's highly intrinsically motivated by a healing challenge. Yeah. Because they're, like, they're a healer. I believe JLBs has always been a healer man, I think. Or, I think maybe double time. Anyway, anyway, talk about healing challenge, because this, this is actually really good. This is really good and fun in a way I haven't felt before. So there's clearly, like, a case of, Stuff just small changes cascade in how people enjoy the game, and there's a little bit of a uh truth being revealed by the lack of an extrinsic motivation. Where gear getting your best, getting your gear is way easier than before. The same people go, Well, kind of reveals why are you playing the game then? And the answer isn't because I really like playing the game, mm. the answer is because I like feeling rewarded. And the game's no longer doing that as much. And that's the same mistake uh, Blizzard made with Overwatch 2, removing loot boxes. Obviously removing the loot boxes. Loot boxes are bad. Fuck pay loot boxes. But at the same time, it was like the reward loop. They didn't replace that with anything meaning meaningful. You think about gacha games. Yeah. Um, they're, they're, they're winning for a reason. And yeah. it's frustrating. It, it is. Very yeah, that's the thing. Gacha, like, it, it kind of, it, it very unfortunately works. Now, we don't advocate for going gacha, but there's definitely... I like would I would advocate and yeah. stuff. I would advocate for going gacha in very controlled ways. As an yes, example, specifically not yeah, paid. The box that I talked about there is gacha. Yeah. The quantum items that are going to drop from the end of the because I think currently on the PTR, the Dawn Infinite last boss gives everyone a quantum item, which then oh, they, so it which is then now they, a guaranteed weekly. Not the mode. That's a very rare item. Oh, but the but the quantum. but the but the gear item that gives you a random appearance. That's that. That is smart move. That's like guaranteed now. So that's a ga that's a gacha rule because people love random, like variable rewards. So I think doing that in a way that doesn't force people into it and kind of doesn't take away from the intrinsicness, doesn't put people in the fucking Skinner box, but has some humans are rewarded by casino behavior. So you put a very controlled amount of casino behavior in your game and let people engage with that to a controlled degree. You're likely mm. going to be fine. The issue is there you're going to lose to play to games that go full casino. But I guess the answer has to be do you want to make a game that makes all of the money in the known universe and sucks ass, or do you want to make a game that makes a lot of money and is quite good? Is ultimately like a strange question you have to ask yourself at times. It's funny with the veiled Argonite. <laughs> veiled so Argon much veiled, comes veiled, back to veiled Argonite. Veiled Argonite was very would, would have been perfect if not for the um for the fucking Arcano Crystal. Oh boy, it would have been perfect if not for the Arcano Crystal, and even the Arcano Crystal probably wasn't that bad an idea, because it's just, I mean, it was probably, it sucked for Mythic Raiders and like that, but the idea of here's a really cool thing that's quite rare, if they brought back Veiled Argonite in the sense that it, say, Veiled Argonite, but plus the, what are you called? Plus the, fuck, why, why, I am not good with nouns and sister names today, my brain's dust. The Forbidden Reaches stuff, all that, Primus gear. Veiled Argonite combined a little bit with that. Mm. Combined a little bit with, randomly you get big TSD appearances. Like, you f f roll your Veiled roll your, roll your, roll your gacha chest, and your gacha chest can just be, not mythic level gear wise, but can just look like another one. Obviously not literally, but you know, same idea of. What, Daggers are flying yeah, you, through the internet. You Titan Forge this, but. Not for the gear level, not for the player bar. You Titan Forge it for an appearance. There's a billion problems with that, but it's fundamentally like the what do players care about? How do you give them that in a way that's a variable reward that doesn't completely make them want to scream? And I think it, it does boil a little bit back down to the bad luck protection and the chase item. Fucking, there you go. That's all you really need. That's all you need for it to work, I think. It's fundamentally the, like, yeah, that's, um, Amigo T puts it down in a very, very 
clear way. What's hard is balancing a reward that feels good to acquire without forcing the player to do the content. Like, what is what is a push and not a shove, effectively? Yeah. A World of Warcraft went, well, we won't shove anyone anymore. And they kind of stopped pushing a little bit. They did try to push for the Renown stuff, but I think some of that's fallen flat on a lot of players. Just because they're not particularly rewarding because there's only so many items you can give a shit about. And that's even like I've even I've encountered that I've encountered that in every like longer term game where I just hit something, I go, I'm I'm fine with this. I don't care how I look beyond this. It's like even in a game like Diablo, I'd never care about what I look like. So I'm never going to buy a cosmetic. I'm never going to go for something like appearance was. I don't even care about my power that much. I'm just like, am I having fun? Not really. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to stop now. That's the funny thing. We have this video coming up. I need to finish mm -hmm. over the weekend about um, things to do if you're bored in World of Warcraft. Yeah. And so much of that is just a video that's saying, "Hey, there's a few things that are fun. You've got. Have you got the nightmare mount? Because Lucid that nightmare. is a what? The lucid nightmare. Oh, sorry. The, yes, the lucid nightmare mount. That is a crazy ass thing, right? Doing that big maze. Have you done the deaths of Chromie? That is really fun and well designed. A few things like that, where it's like, um, the, the people aren't aware they exist, people don't know the carrot, but they're really fun if you do them. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's very awkward just having to be like, all right, so maybe pulling all the extrinsic stuff out by the roots did some damage. Not that they yeah. literally did that. I but think they we did. always knew it was going to do some. Yeah, it's just now we have to deal with that. <laughs> Basically, now yeah. we have to go, well, that happened. What do we do about this massive hole in the ground? Okay, we'll we'll, we'll fill it in some capacity. Which isn't to say that, like, it isn't to say that it's... Uh, like, it's, it's not easy, but it's not super challenging. It just takes a couple more iterations and attempts to do in the same way that they need to try and use our like cavern style because this one failed seemingly failed anyway yeah it's a little bit like they need to just iterate and kind of go okay well let's figure this stuff out because there's clearly stuff that we're figuring out very well like uh like the reward design in the game for like items items are fucking cool man they are it's just acquisitions a little bit frustrating with again it's the same problem right a lot of the items that have been that are in Abyss are fucking sick. They're super cool. And then you go, well, they're strong as well as cool. Now acquisition's a problem. Now you can't have a chase item because it's an MMO. In the same way people complained about the Diablo 4 chase items a little bit. You're like, well, what's the point of these chase items if you can't earn them? It's like it's a fun, exciting thing that if you get it, you're better off. And that's not even an MMO. Obviously it's got MMOE elements, but it's a single player game effectively i'd say like a group game stuff you know it's like a thing where your power doesn't matter to anyone mm. except you especially like unless you're like leaderboard based but like pff, fuck who gives a shit or like but the people are like but i want that you know like, but 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 it's just a cool thing for you to have it's not you're not supposed to have it it's just cool you're supposed to be excited if you get it and then it goes but i want it and you're like we are literally at an impasse yeah we're quite literally at an impasse of where does game design go it, with extrinsic rewards see, how long will it take before i'm not going to bring up your analogy because the tone has dropped a little bit here but like oh uh, yes. how much are people desensitized to feeding rewarded and how hard is how far is that going to go it's like i, I even thought about this in terms of ff16 where everything was super fucking insane it's like it's some of the biggest scale i've ever felt in the game and then i kind of felt like in the middle of the game i was like i feel like i've been desensitized to how fucking huge everything is god damn yeah and that was within the course of one like like so, 40 50 hour experience i'm like damn one of boy. the reasons i've been one of the reasons i advocate for player housing i know it won't work for everybody but also like mounts don't work for everybody yeah me you know like um that's why like yeah so player housing guild housing that kind of thing because that gives blizzard more buckets of reward exactly and I think the thing that you need exactly to do, and a lot of meaning behind it because of self-expression uh -huh. Yeah. That that yeah, and the self expression is extrinsic. Thinking about like how can my yeah, how can my character reflect my image of my character? Are there any other ways that I can bring that about? So that's why um, yeah, 
I'd, I'd be totally pro that. For uh, for that reason, they can add a bunch of meaning to loads and loads and loads of content uh, in the game, and it means that they don't have to do a mount for absolutely everything. So the reason why I'd want that is, yeah, it gives Blizzard more stuff to do. It's why, while not all of them are great, but like the way that we can have backpacks. That's a new sort of category of thing in the game. So really for me, it's like, if we want player expression, I, yeah, I'm just thinking about like, what are the new categories of thing? Even stuff like, uh, you know, different, and I know it's kind of weird because of, you know, are, are we using UI mods or not? Thinking about like even the adventure plates in FF, like yeah. they're pretty cool. Some people just enjoy decking out their adventure plate. Um, yeah. You know, I, I wonder. So, like, player housing is the obvious one. Maybe you want, uh, like, a little airship to be your base. You can, you know, fly it around to a different continent or whatever, and it could have... Maybe it could have, like, a parking space, space in each zone, and you could upgrade your airship, make it a bit bigger, you know? Make it a bit better. Um, make it have some... Yeah, fuck it, whatever. You, you get my drift, right? It's, like, categories of thing that a player can find to be rewarding. And I, I guess we maybe think about that for, like, us as humans. So what do you got? You've got clothes. You've got jewelry. You know, you've got your shoes. You've got, like, how you deck out your space. Um, for some people, they've got their EDC, mm -hmm. where all the Americans are like, or all the non-Americans are like, I think this key ring's nice. It keeps my things organized. And then the Americans are like, here is five perfectly aesthetic guns all holstered onto my person with cool clips. Mm -hmm. And then we're just like, yeah, damn. Yeah, people who wear pins and stuff like that. Yeah, and it's like, you know, how do we get that in WoW? Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm not saying that it's like, oh yeah, every time you defeat a monster in WoW, you unlock a tra trading card for it. <laughs> you know, we're, we're getting to the stage where we're just inventing shit. Um, but like, maybe you have a lore guide. And as you do things in the game, you unlock all the different pages of the lore guide. Or there's a beastiary. Fuck, that is so good. Yeah, there's a beastiary, right? Oh my god. As you I'd fight beasts, so you know, it's a per zone bestiary. Uh, you, you know, you you kill or whatever a beast. It, you know, it ticks it off in the bestiary. And maybe there's the the beastie boys. Maybe the beastie boys are in the game. And uh, you know, you get different rewards from the beastie boys whenever you uh, fill out your thing. And a uh, player can be like, ah, yes, I am the beast master of the azure span. Great. Mm. Right, I'm that like that's honestly just what I'm thinking. Like the dragon riding races are a good example of that. Okay, yeah, what are, yeah. more? Just content, make more content. Easy, easy clap, easy clap. Yeah, but it's like that. Uh, I don't want to say do that instead. Well, if we're just going to do another Zarlat Cavern and another Zarlat Cavern followed by another Zarlat Cavern, would it not make sense to? not supersede everything in the game so rapidly to make the new thing a bit more focused and unique uh, or like to actually stand yeah. out a bit more like the, the oh. laterally like yeah um why don't you do that and then free up some more design space to do something like your per zone bestiary mm -hmm. you know maybe you have some rare beasts or you know maybe you have a beast that it only comes out at night and the players have got to work that out for themselves and then somebody screams at the wow forums like hi don't want to log in to get that beast. And then Blizzard should be like, yeah, guess what? It's a living world, loser. Yeah. <laughs> Gobble my chode, said the GM. Mm -hmm. You know, that would be fine to say, if not for... <laughs> if if not for uh, you know, Blizzard's um, hmm, past drama. But yeah, I guess that's just what I'm thinking about. Like, what are the different things that a player can fill up that a player can do? Why, why, why can you not just go and, like, here's lore master of the High Elves. You go and do all of the quests in the game that evolve, like, the app, the High Elves, like the pre-Night Elf, Highborn, all that stuff. And then you get High Elven spells you can bring shoot back, something like that. Bring back Lore Walker Cho. Yeah. And we, no, it's Chromie and Cho. No. Lore Walker Chromie. There we go. And it is just a new thing that's like, uh, you know, experience the story, the stories of Azeroth or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's something where uh, you do actually have to go from bottom to top and you could actually play it out as like a linear campaign or something like that. And, uh, you know, it scales them. It scales them so the mobs are like basically your level. 
and uh, you get to go and do, say, the, the campaign of Patch 5.1, and it's, I don't know, some abridged version thing. Which in itself is like kind of tricky because then you're superseding a bunch of content the See, players could go and yeah. do. Or I, like maybe you, I, it's just there's so much people could do. And yeah. there's so many ways that Blizzard could probably tie all these together yeah. that players would think there, would be satisfying. Yeah, there is the issue there with a lot of that's all content basically. A lot of that is verging on we require additional content. Whereas like if they want more rewards for existing content, they want you to do your fucking world quests and your renowns and stuff and your M plus and your raids, which is kind of where they're running into the problem. But they kind of actually just need to like basically lateral add lateral directions to that and add a bit more context to them which ultimately is more they they maybe need to make less content but more content because obviously more content is just make more content easy for it and then you go well sorry we need eight thousand developers and we need to charge you 200 pound a month for subscription now well that's maybe a bit, more a bit multiplicative there, a bit content there. Yeah, where they just kind of need to make some more, some more drama. Some drama? Sorry, I was literally like, you know when you read something and the word goes into your brain? Oh, yeah. You said instead of the right thing? I think it is full. They just need more. Need to worry about what motivates players and think about it more. And sometimes that could be improve your, and this is what I think will happen with Raid and M+. Improving it so the intrinsic motivation is stronger. Because mm. there's definitely times where I'm like, man, it's not for the fact that I'd rather play other games. I actually, I would very much enjoy World of Warcraft. Obviously, I'm a person who likes novelty, so me going and playing like fucking anything else that's new is generally a better experience because it, that's how I work. And when new content drops, I really enjoy it. But then it's no longer new content. And I go, eh, I'll go somewhere else. And I'm happy with that experience overall because I'm not thinking about my uh, my subscription worth in playtime. So I've never particularly felt that way about like buying games and stuff like that. But I think fundamentally it's like increase, make sure there's enough extrinsic people that don't fuck off and then continually pump making your game more intrinsically enjoyable because that's where you get the fun. You get you get the fun where people like are thinking about their rewards but also thinking about the gameplay. Obviously yeah. like some parts of where I was like, and I think that's where again, that's where I come down to like the FF stuff where I really like FF's raids because it's like they're just Ba basic gameplay enjoyable because you're pressing buttons and moving around and you're moving around you've been forced to move around because stuff's landing at your feet and you know you've mechanics to resolve and that's a fun process and while I was getting there it's just a little bit like maybe you need more more of that more of the intrinsic level of this is fun because like M plus would be fun if I could queue for M plus I'd probably do it more just because actually like that. actually getting a Getting a group feels like a lot of effort. And yes. there's also the problem of maybe people are shit and you lose your time and it's not rewarding enough. But if I can just queue for it and be like, ah, fucking bing, bing, wahoo, whatever. Give me, I've got it. This, this is a terrible idea. Give me experience tokens I can mail the alts, thank you. Oh, I was just going to say that earlier. You can see that working, right? Fucking horrible, like, idea. A horrible idea, be brilliant. Oh no, not experience tokens, experience buff tokens. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like Dark Moon Hats, there you go. Put Dark Moon Hats on at the end of M+. Sort of. Yeah, this is why you just have to talk about problems because eventually your brain just surfaces the right one. Yeah. Fix the game. I mean, that's the thing. Then you, you know, you'll feel like even if. Okay. Is that the right word? The more that you would accrue those those things, the more you'd be like, the cost of this new alt's pretty damn low. In fact, I could go and try it right now. Sweet. Mm -hmm. level up real quick yeah that'll probably feel good to a lot of players yeah yes, so sure. i suppose uh not, not you know not not that we've now upgraded the stream by um giving you homework but certainly yeah think about like what are other items that you would like to earn in wow mm. that's i think would be that would be my question yeah yeah what items would you like to earn what categories of item would you like blizzard to build um, you know, that is uh, that is the thing. And is that going to be in a per expansion basis or is that going to be a game system? Because I really think what they should do. Archaeology revamp. Forestry profession. You know, lore books, 
lore books. Like, I'm thinking about all these things that just, like, feel more rich. They feel like you can do more things in Azeroth. There's more meaning attached to them because of how they work in the world, as opposed to just abstractive. Here's a number, go up. Wee, yeah. You've got more transmogs. Are you ever going to use it? No. Are you going to use the fucking Valdraken goblet fork? What the fuck? No. That's, that's you, the weird thing about fuck? that. that well, it, like, three people might. But. Yeah, the Valdraken fork, it's, it's as if that is, like... It exists for to be, it exists to be data mined, so they're all like, "Oh, would you look at that? That's really neat." And then we, you know, it's not really anything we'd actually want in the game. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing where it's just it's there for the sake of it, and you can tell, and that's cool for role player stuff. But it's like that's kind of what the that's trying to carry the game when it's not strong enough to. So you need to give custom spell animations on your renowned tracks instead. Do you know what I realize the stream is? Well, it's basically. You know, if, if our if our brains are like damp towels, it's the fucking. It's just the very end of the. It's just the end of the week. We're like, all right, let's get all the ideas squeezed out of here before we clock off for the weekend. Yeah, more or less. I definitely feel out of ideas. Mm. Uh, that's a bit of a problem because I have to solidify a game design in the next two days. Yeah, Pretty just like uh, next project, very exciting. Can I talk about it now or really anytime soon? No. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's the way it goes. You, you know how it is. 